Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is April. And today we will be screaming Rainbow, Rainbow Energy. Energy. Today I will be styling monochromatic outfits based on almost all the colours in the rainbow. Dressing in a single colour is boring? Nope, think again. Monochromatic outfit is anything but boring. It's unique, imaginative and you play with colours. I will also be sharing some tips and tricks along the way on how to nail the monochromatic look. So let's go! Red. The first colour of the rainbow spectrum. It represents passion and ambition. And when in red, you have the confidence to take on the world. I'm thinking the Devil Wears Prada. Yes, the fashion industry is brutal, but that ain't going to stop me. The cool thing about monochromatic look is you don't focus on just colours. You pay more attention to other things like contrast, silhouette, texture and details. These over-the-end ghost red pants create one uninterrupted line, head to toe, elongating your silhouette. Paired with these 3 inches chunky heels, it elongates your silhouette even further giving you the leggy look which we all so desire. Orange is the new black. I swap out the red over the ankle pants for some orangey orange shorts. When styling in a single colour, you don't have to stick to a single colour. Remember the blue and yellow dress? Our human eye is deceiving. Top which looks red earlier now looks like it has an orange hue. Don't be afraid to experiment with colors to see what works and what doesn't. Anyway, we are continuing the leggy look, and this high with the shorts does the perfect job by giving the illusion that my waist is three inches higher than where they actually are. Goodbye, orange, and hello, yellow. This yellow free sleeve top is an absolute showstopper. Don't believe me? Try it yourself. This outfit is also giving me some major french fries vibes here. And remember, fries over guys? Uh huh, uh huh. So let's pair it with my favorite little red bag, which fits a lot. Or perhaps I'm just an overgrown version of the minion where my favorite hobby is munching on bananas. Viva Licious! Moving on to my current obsession, green. How can we forget the iconic Stan Smith? This is basically my everyday look. T-shirts with sneakers. I went for these high-waisted shorts with stripes of greens to give contrast between the t-shirts and shorts, complementing both the t-shirt and the Stan Smith shoes. For a ladylike sophisticated look, we are bringing the 80 styles back on some Granny Smith cardigan with a long pleated skirt. For this look, I'm playing a lot more with textures to keep the colours from looking flat. Hey, did you realise Granny Smith stands me with no offence but I think that green has got to be the official family colour of the Smith family. Given that the top looks a little heavy, I'm switching out the Stan Smith with heels for some ankle action. Moving on to the ever so versatile blue. For a while, I was obsessed with navy blues, and well, I still am, just not as much. But I realized navy blue can look kind of dull on its own. Therefore, for a more playful look, I got these oversized t shirts to add more dimension to the look. By tying the t shirt around your waist, you accentuate your waist, giving you an hourglass figure. Moving on will be what I call the little mermaid look. When my best friend is a crab and I sing with fishes. Under the sea, under the sea. I just need to dye my hair red to get Ariel's look. The poofy puffs and the ruffles of this skirt tells you magic does exist and don't be afraid to dream. What's the point of living if you can't dream, isn't it? Moving on to pink for when Barbie becomes the next president. Let's bring back the pink on pink strand. And you know what's the best part about this pink flat dress? 
it is perfect for hiding your food baby. Y'all know how widely obsessed I am with tiny bags and I am obsessed with Barbie Pink too. If you're a Barbie Pink fan, this bag will fulfill all of your fantasy. You know what's the best part about tiny bags? They don't break your shoulders. Share some love with your shoulders and here's a reminder to stretch them. The next look is what I imagine a real life Alice would wear. The protagonist in a Korean drama. Sipping tea and munching on scones during afternoon tea, shopping at boutiques, but looking ever so ready to take over the family business. The ruffle details at the shoulder gives a more demure look and are great for hiding the not yet toned arms. Like how I hide my insecurities in the corner of a room and hopefully no one finds it. I'll be honest, I'm not too sure about this look. Somehow the puffy thought made me thought that I would look cute because it reminds me of the cute teddy bear which I owned when I was 10. But because I'm not a miniature soft toy, it reminds me of a polar bear who spends the majority of the time lying on the ice. Hence, I'm self-declaring myself as a supporter of the world wildlife. And finally, we are at our last color black. I'm going for a piano style with these chunky boots. I honestly love leather jackets but they are so not weather appropriate for sunny, humid Singapore. If you live in a country with four seasons, I can't tell you how envious I am of you, where you can rock a leather jacket without a single drop of sweat. Till the day, I can afford to maintain the optimal humidity for my wardrobe to keep the leather jackets from growing moldy. This jacket made out of alternative fabrics will do the job of giving me the rock and roll style. And the best thing of all, it keeps me cool even during the hottest weather. Among all of the outfits, this gives me the leggiest leggy look. This outfit combination turned out much better than I anticipated. 